So we need, need more safety. We need to be our own people. And that's both true from an environmental point of view, right? Like we need to be nice or to each other. So I grew up on IRC. In IRC, you type in caps when you shout, right? And then when you're in person, you just keep on shouting. And then everyone is shouting. And when you're young and everyone around you is also shouting, you don't really notice that, right? So you would shout, 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 and then someone would win, and then we'd all go out and talk normally until it was time to shout again. What I realized is you can't bring on new people into that environment because they don't actually know when you're shouting because you're just randomly shouting or because you're actually upset and angry. Uh, and so it's very, very hard uh, to, to come into an environment like that. It's very hard to come into an environment that is um, harsh, which a lot of um, old school engineering and uh, uh, operations environments are. And I think part of that might be that we were like, hey, we had to go through this when we were young, so now we're going to force everyone else to go through that. Uh, but that is not, is not acceptable. Also, um, this is very important, that means that when you finally get angry and shout, no one actually knows that you're now finally angry and shouting because you've been shouting for no good reason for a long time. So save that, save that anger for when you really need it. But we also need it on technology, right? Like if you, if you leave a red button around that destroys the world, eventually someone is going to press it, which is not a good thought to have right now. Um, but like schooling is not enough. Like we need more than that, right? You need mentorships. Uh, you need systems that allow people to do things without the risk of massive destruction. Right? Like otherwise, how how will they learn? How can they join, right? So. You, you're used to having two AC2 instances for testing, and then you join, and there's like 20,000 machines or 50,000 machines, or like, how do you comprehend that? One, some, one of my engineers once told me when I was, he was trying to interview an operations engineer, and he's like, I don't know how to operate, how to interview, because when I joined, Wikia was like 10 servers, and now we're 500, and if I had joined with 500, I do not know how I would have, how I would have been able to absorb that, so I don't know what questions to ask. Right, and so we grew up with it, we saw it grow, and if you're new, you don't have that. And so we need to develop more practice, technology, to make it safer. We need to take some of the magic that Intel and others keep giving us every year and dedicate that CPU power, memory, etc., to making our environment safer. Uh, but you should still be careful about garbage-collected languages because they're evil. <laughs> 